Kobe. Ooh -hoo. What is good, YouTube? That intro video was taken a couple weeks ago from a previous YouTube video. As many of you guys know, Kobe has passed away with his daughter Gigi. It's been truly sad, been very horrific. Um, sad moment. I never thought I would see Kobe Kobe go. He was the reason why I was so passionate. I loved the game of basketball, and it hurts to see him go like that. Prayers go out to you know Vanessa and his daughters, and all the other ones that were you know in the accident. But onto the tutorial, guys. Um, I am doing an afro cut. I'm picking up the hair out right now, just getting it all out, making sure it's out to its full length. And then I'm taking a three guard, and I'm just gonna go in and then coming off the head, giving an uh, outlook to it, you know. Um, sc scooping out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, you know, on the sides and the back. Just to remove some bulk so I know that I'm going to be fading into a three guard so then when I go ahead and do the taper that will be doing a taper on him and it's low tapers on the side and then a normal taper on the back that I know I'm you know blending into a three so that's what I'm doing right here and then I'm going ahead and taking my camos trimmers and I'm just putting my bulk guideline in a little bit of you know just kind of a little bit below the top of the ear and usually when I'm doing low tapers like this, I like to put in the, the C cup just so I could see where I'm fading. And you know, go ahead and ball them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my two guard. That's closed. I'm just gonna clear off some more bulk. So now I've set the three as the base and now I'm fading the two into the three. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my I believe this is the zero guard on the Andy's uh, system. And that's open, and I'm just flicking out into that too. And I went ahead and closed it down, just flicking out that that bottom line. <clears throat> now, after that, I'm going to go ahead and take my blade open, no guard, and just picking out using corner and just fading slowly, fading out that line. And I'm going to go ahead and slowly keep closing the lever until it completely closed and that line will should be completely gone. Now you know there are some areas that are a little bit dark that you can see so I'm using my one guard open to really pick at those and line up that area so that it has a nice fluid transition. And since we kind of have the hair laid down shorter uh, I did go ahead and re reline up the C cup just so I can get it sharpened. Now I'm just doing detail work, picking out the dark spots. Still saw some dark spots, so I went to my two guard and just picking, you know, using the corner, picking, just lining up, light, lightening up everything just so it uh, fades, you know, transitions nice and smooth. As you guys can tell, you know, everything's coming in together tapers coming in just a lot of detail work you know you have your steps just to get through to clear off everything and after that you just go in and detail go to the previous guard you always want to go to a guard that you know will take off some length but not too much just so you really know so like I usually go to my one guard open I'll play with that. If I don't see it taking hair off, I'll go down to my zero guard open and I'll continue the steps until the line is faded. And scissor over comb is my one of my favorite techniques. Helps soften up the fade really nicely but without taking off too much. So that's why I do a lot of my work. Now we're moving on to the back. Uh, just a normal taper on the back. So I'm balding them out. Now same thing, I'm taking my two guard and just removing some bulk. Make sure you always comb after you do your strokes, just so you know all the hair is taken off and there's a clear canvas. 
So as you see, I go with my two, comb, two, comb. Now I'm starting on the back side with the blade completely open just to set that guideline in. Usually beginner barbers, I would recommend putting the half guard in with the clipper completely open. As you advance, you could go ahead and go straight, you know, to the zero guard or the one guard and just fade down. But it all depends on your fade technique, what you're most comfortable with. If you like to fade down, if you like to fade up. Uh, so I moved on to my zero guard open or closed to open. And after that, I'll move on to my one guard, you know, probably open to close just to fade out everything. So right here, I got the one guard open. And just work it down to uh, it close. As you saw there, I was kind of flicking into the the fro, just to take some weight off, but you know, not really making a harsh guideline or anything like that. Now I'm going ahead and putting in the back line, just so I could really see the fade. I'm not done with the fade yet. I saw the bottom line to take out, but it just helps put everything into perspective. I'm gonna go ahead and use my gammas just to clear off some bulk around the ear area just so I can really make that line crispy as you can see it looks like I'm not creating a line right now because the afro is hanging over the ear but throughout the haircut you know I'll start to take off that extra bulk that hangs over so it has a nice transition and that you can really see the the neckline see here I'm just going ahead freehanding taking all that excess bulk out and boom as you can tell now the line looks completely sharp and you can see and there's no excess hairs hanging over See on this side you can see the hair hanging over on the ear. I'll go ahead and freehand that just to take it off. So you go ahead and freehand, take all that excess bulk off, and then reline. Go ahead and use the shaver just to get the completely bald and now it's time to attack that bottom line go ahead go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and start with the blade completely open because that's what we start with start off with from the beginning and then we're gonna slowly close that so there we go we moved down halfway just playing with the lever there and then we're gonna go completely close and remove that very bottom line And just trust the process. Know where you left your last guideline, and know that you know you can pretty much get close to that previous guideline. Everything is in millimeters, so it's very tight. So you have to move up the fade in order to get a nice transition. If you guys have been enjoying my content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Truly appreciate it. The channel is growing. We have gotten up to like 240 subscribers. The goal is 500 and then a thousand. So if you guys have been enjoying the content, I have a lot more coming out. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now we're moving on to the other side of the taper. And you know, same ball guy line, a little bit below the top of the ear. And then it's going to be the same steps, you know, put in the arch. You guys could just go ahead and follow along from here. Now we're going ahead and moving on to the lineup. My dude here, 
does have a major Whittles Peak as you can see. Um, so what I do here is I go with one guard open just to remove bulk so you could um, really see where the hair grows, where the hairline starts. So as you can see in the middle it's very heavy and then when you go to the sides you can see how it kind of goes back, obviously the Whittles Peak. So I'm just taking off that top Whittles Peak and not pushing anything back on the sides. So I'm taking it where it's the fullest on the sides and just coming across and taking off that Whittles Peak. I'm going to move from the middle to his right side and then I'm going to follow that to the other side. Usually, typically, I like to move to the side that is the highest and keep that as natural as possible without pushing it back. To the side that's lowest, you can always push that up to match the opposite side. You do the lower side first and then go to the other side and try to do the higher side. You're going to end up pushing that up or it won't look even. Then you got to go back to the other side and then now you're just going back and forth and raising the hairline. My dude did fall asleep right here. He was dozing off, and I noticed I felt him falling back, and I was like, "Oh shoot, he's about to fall asleep." And we're, gonna, we're laughing about it right now. He is a multi-athlete, um, three-sport athlete. He plays football, plays basketball. Um, so he's you know, he's been putting in work. So he's been tired coming in for these care cuts. But good thing I caught that because it could have been all bad. So now we're just taking off the excess bulk and boom, that lineup's looking crispy. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and pick out the hair again. And then this is where the shaping is gonna go in. So he wants to take off about two inches. Um, he hasn't been in the shop for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and just kind of go in there and just cut two inches off. I'm not really trying to get it perfect because I'm gonna go in and sculpt it after with a clipper. Go ahead and freehand it. So right now I'm kind of just going in, grabbing a chunk and just cutting it. Going in, grabbing another chunk and just cutting all that off. And make sure to always repick the hair just so you really see what you're cutting. So I'm just going in there, cutting, cutting. Not making it too perfect because, like I said, I'm going back in and freehand it. I didn't worry too much about the sides because we did go in there with a three and scooped out. So that's already kind of shorter. I'm just mainly focusing on the top of the head and then a little bit around the prodal ridge area. And here we go, we're gonna freehand. And when I'm freehanding the front, I kind of place the clipper on his forehead very lightly, and then I just go straight up from there. And then I just follow that all the way to the right side and take that to the back and just continue freehanding, getting all the hair that's hanging over where I created the lines. So wherever you create the lines, you could pretty much take off all that excess hair. He didn't want anything hanging over, he wanted it all nice shaped up tight. Some people like the excess hangover because they could push it up, braids and all that, but he wants a nice tight fro, so a little bit on the longer side. So just go ahead and raise, placing that clipper on his forehead and just taking it straight up. Now on the top, I'm just gonna even everything out. It's kind of like a beard, you know, pick it all out and then you just give it, put a nice shape to it. I just start from one side, take that all the way back, make sure that's all even, and just follow that same guideline. You know, same thing as you when you're using scissors, you make your first guideline, you follow that traveling guideline all the way to the back. Same thing with the fro. It just you're using your clippers now. So I made that guideline on the right side of his head, took that all the way back, and then I just matched that to the left side. And now I'm doing the same thing on the left side.
once I get pretty much it all shaped up, now we're doing the back. Once I get it all shaped up, I'm gonna go ahead and re-pick it out. Because you do want to pick it out, you know, a couple times. Because it's like a beard. And you sculpt it, you know, shape it up the first time, and you don't brush it out or pick it out, there's gonna be longer hairs and shorter hairs, and it won't be completely even. So after I do the whole back side, I'm gonna go ahead and re-pick it and go over it all again. Hit that like button if you, if you think that back taper is popping. So here we go, we're just re-picking it out. And just repeating that same process again. Pretty much when I get everything shaped up how I like it, I'm gonna follow it up with my curved shears. If you don't have a set of curved shears, you have to get some. They're great for beards, they're great for afros. Just go ahead and go ahead, and this is where the detail comes in, and where you get it really nice and tight. And now I'm just following, you know, what I do with my clippers, making sure I get everything nice and even, nice and tight, has a good shape to it. I'm just following that all around the head. They do help a lot, so if you do not have any, I really recommend you guys grabbing some. You could go ahead and pat the hair down with your hands, just make sure everything's even. Now I'm just following up, getting any excess hair that's hanging over the lineup. Make sure that's all nice and sharp. I will apply some fibers in, just to make those sides a little bit darker, so everything just nice pops and looks, you know, flawless. Enhancements aren't to hide a cut, they're just to enhance it. They're to make your cuts, you know, go from, you know, just an average haircut to something that stands out and everyone's like, damn, who barred you up? You know, like, I'm trying to get on that. So they're just to help you take your haircuts to the next level. As you can tell, you know, the haircut was in place, lineups looked sharp. You know, everyone, not everyone has perfect hair, you know, they have lighter spots, um, hair doesn't grow in fully. So it just helps give, you know, helps your client feel good about themselves and it helps your cut just, you know, taking it to that next level. After I put the fibers, let's go ahead and reline. Use a straight razor just to get everything nice and crispy. And that's pretty much gonna be the cut. I'm just gonna go over everything, razor it in. Doing the front line, you know, hitting that widow's peak so it lasts a couple extra days. Then we're going to go ahead and go into styling the hair after. Super simple. I'll spray some water in the hair just to get it a little wet. And I'm just going to go ahead and curl sponge it. He likes it, you know, the natural look, not, not much product. Just water and then curl sponge it. Gives it nice curls. Now my dude's ready for his basketball game. Gum ball out. After we finish curl sponging, I go ahead and use my curved shears again, just to get some hangovers or any hairs that are sticking out. And that's pretty much the cut, YouTube. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, like. 
Uh, let's grow this channel. Let's keep it going. Shout out my cousin Timothy for the beats. Hope you guys enjoy the cut. This is the after. This is the before. Looking sharp. Looking good. Hey. He's ready, baby. Alright. Hope you guys have a good one. See you guys on the next one, alright?